Hello, I'm Major General Jim Atkins, the Adjutant General of Maryland. Our nation asks a lot of those who wear the uniform today, but there are also tremendous resources and support available to our soldiers, airmen, and their families. Today I would like to talk to you about the Maryland National Guard Family Readiness Program. This program is an important resource available to you and your family. It's operated by a group of dedicated and trained professionals. These service members, civilians, and volunteers are available and ready to help soldiers, airmen, and their families navigate through any challenges they may encounter and answer any questions that they may have as well. Family Assistance Centers provide services in six essential areas, crisis intervention, legal resource information and referral, financial resource information and referral, TRICARE information, ID cards, and DEERS. Our predominant mission is to work with and assist soldiers and their families. Everything from emergency, financial, to legal, morale, welfare, support, an entire um, laundry listing of things, ways that we can help. During deployment times, um, one of our key pieces is we also reach out to and maintain contact with the family here at home to ensure that they're doing well. There are six regional family assistance centers in Annapolis, Hagerstown, Havity Grace, Towson, Warfield Air National Guard Base, and the headquarters at the 5th Regiment Armory in Baltimore. Service members and their family members can speak privately with a counselor, free of charge during reintegration or whenever needed. The military family life consultants also provide financial counseling. Within the past year, the most calls that we've received have been those of an emergency financial nature. It's with the economy the way that it is, it's very easy to sometimes to run into a problem. Even the individual with the best budget in the world and a savings plan, something can come along to cause that hiccup, be it a transmission that's failed or a new roof, and then suddenly you can find yourself behind the eight ball and you need that little bit of help. That's one of the things that my office and my team and I that we do and that we can help with. When an individual comes to us for any issue or problem, be it financial, be it that they need assistance with obtaining school supplies for their children, if it's a legal question that may or may not need to go to the JAG levels or problems with ID cards or they don't understand their TRICARE insurance, it is never a cookie cutter approach because everyone's different and their problems are different. So we take the time to actually sit down with them, to speak with them, to find out what's going to work so we can send them to the correct resources and we follow through with them until it's completely resolved. All contact to the Family Assistance Centers is kept confidential. If you need to have that financial assistance, please don't be embarrassed you know, to come to us. Don't feel as though your entire unit or the entire state is suddenly going to know, because that is not the case. They're only going to know if you choose to share. They will not know from us. The other most important thing is that the misperception is that the Family Assistance Centers are only for times of deployment, and that is not the case. We never go away. We are completely operational year-round, and we are there to assist the families and the soldiers regardless of where they are in the deployment cycle. The youth program organizes activities and events for children of military families. I run the youth program for the Army and the Air National Guard. We work with the kids during deployment, and I have just started working with the chaplain's office on the Healthy Families events. We have a teen council made up of teens from the Army and Air. We do multiple summer camps throughout the summer. We do ski trips. We do community service. We're one of the only states that runs their own camp. We have 70 campers, and then we have about 20 teenagers who act as junior counselors, and then we have about 20 adult volunteers. It's fun to see them interact with each other because they don't necessarily consider themselves a military kid until they're around other military kids because, you know, they're in the community with civilian families, civilian kids. And then when they get to camp, you'll hear one kid say, hey, my dad's deployed, and one kid will be like, oh, my dad was deployed too, and just start listening to them talk to each other about how they dealt with it and things they did. It's kind of exciting to see from the outside looking in. Thank you for your service and commitment to the Maryland National Guard. You and your family have made sacrifices serving our country, and we understand those sacrifices sometimes come with hardships. Programs like these are put in place to support you and your family in finding solutions to problems that may arise. Sometimes it may be difficult to ask for help, but know that the Family Readiness Support Group is there for you when you need it. Thank you.